Thanks for welcoming us again into your home or wherever you might be for this time of worship, this online time of worship. Or another way to put it is thanks for accepting this offer of a worship service that is prepared for you by the worship team at North Church. And you might have noticed that these worship times always begin with a prelude, a piece of music without any words to it. And the reason for that is that I don't know about you, but for me, when I, whether it is coming into church on Sunday morning in the physical building for worship or joining one of these online services, I always need a minute to just get myself ready in the right place emotionally and mentally and spiritually to enter into worship. And that's what the prelude is able to do, to give that space of preparation of our hearts and minds to worship God. So let this morning's prelude bring you into a time of worship. offer up your own worship to God. Listen to this beautiful promise from the book of Ezekiel. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. And I will give you a new heart, and I will put a new spirit within you. I will take out your stony, stubborn heart and give you a tender, responsive heart. With tender, responsive hearts, let us Worship God together. And re- 
Psalm 104 begins, Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, wrapped in light as with a garment. You stretch out the heavens like a tent. You set the beams of your chambers on the waters. You make the clouds your chariot. You ride on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open their hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. of your love is shining in the midst of the darkness shining Jesus light of the world shine upon us set us free by the truth you now bring us shine on me shine on me shine Jesus shine made a covenant with the people of Israel, he warned them that if they worshipped other gods, they would lose the promised land and be scattered throughout the world as exiles and refugees. But God, at the same time, also promised that he would never forget his covenant. And a time would come when the people would be renewed and restored. 
Many years later, the prophet Ezekiel was among those people who were exiled in Babylon. And in Ezekiel chapter 36, the prophet gives voice to God's promise of renewal. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleannesses, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give you, and a new spirit I will put within you, and I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and make you follow my statutes and be careful to observe my ordinances. Then you shall live in the land that I gave to your ancestors, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. Let us pray. O oh God, only by your spirit can we desire to be made new. Even when we see little glimpses of your glory, we focus on things that do not necessarily pertain to your kingdom. And yet, you in your wisdom use every part of our life experience to form us into your image. We are like grasshoppers on the earth. And yet, you see fit to put your Holy Spirit within us. Come to me, say it's your will. Lay your burdens down. Forgive to live, I know. Let it go, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. You say, and I. Well, I know 